Okay, y'all, sorry, my camera has stopped recording. But back to what I was saying. So, growing up, my father was emotionally unavailable. Um, in the beginning, like when I was like 13, 12 years old, um, I could talk to my dad about anything. We had a bond. But the thing was that my mother, um, being that she is an ark, she took over the household. Um, you know how God calls the men to be the head of the household, basically. And that's the way that, you know, your house will be in order, you know. But my mother, she stripped my dad's manhood from him, you know, basically. Like, she stripped that position of him being the head off of him. And she took over the whole house. And that's when the whole house went out of order, you know. It just went dysfunctional because my mother was in control of everything and that's what caused my dad to be emotionally unavailable because you know as a young girl growing up in this cold world you have questions that you want to ask your dad or you want to talk to about because or talk to things about or talk about things to because you know you want you have questions about boys you have questions about sex and everything and Growing up, I couldn't talk to my parents about that. I couldn't. I had to learn through experience. And that's how I learned about what I need to know or what I need to ask from my parents, but couldn't. I had to I had to go go through the streets and find out through experience. And that benefited me. It benefited me a lot in good ways and bad ways. You know, an experience is a great teacher. I'll tell anybody. In order for you to truly understand something or a situation or somebody, you have to go through the same thing through experience. You have to go through what that person went through in order to understand where they're coming from. Okay? And that's where experience comes in. But anyway, so I remember, you know, my dad, like, like I said, he became emotionally unavailable. I couldn't talk to my dad about anything, you know, and that's why I tell, I'm telling you guys, my subscribers and everybody that's watching this video right now, you know, to allow your sons to cry, you know, as a little boy, let them cry. Don't look at them like, oh, you got to toughen up. You got to be tough in this world. And that's where game banking comes in with too, because when you look at game bangers, they're taught that they can't show their weak side at all. They can't let their guard down. They have to keep their guard up as a tough man because once they let their guard down, they're preyed on as, you know, as a weak person. So they're taught to not cry, you know, and I dated many game bangers. You know, I have a soft spot for them, you know, but I won't marry one because I lost three people that I love dearly to game banging. They all three were murdered, shot, killed. And I personally do not want to marry a game banger anymore. I want to marry me, somebody of the total opposite, because I don't want to go through that grief, that pain, you know. But anyway, game bangers are taught that they cannot show their weak side. They have to be tough. 25 8 and that is a problem how they're brainwashed they're brainwashed you know to not cry you know and like I said I'm here to tell all my men out there all over the world it's okay for you to cry let it out cry because I'd rather you cry and be viewed as a weak but you know deep down inside and i know deep down inside you're not viewed as weak that's i look at you as a real man because like i said a real man cry a real man pray point blank period so i don't care what people are saying when they see you cry let them look at you as a punk you know you're not a punk you're not a punk so let it out i'd rather you let it out and cry then for you to go in the streets and kill somebody or you commit a crime rob somebody you know don't do that cry it's okay you know cry you know if you can't cry write it 
in a journal, write it through your music, you know, take a walk, go see a therapist. I went to see a therapist last year. So what? It's time for us to heal. It's healing time. It's healing time. Okay. It's healing time. We not we not putting up with toxicity no more. We need to end that because this world is making it a trend, making it as normal when it is abnormal. It's not normal to be toxic at all. That's a dysfunction, mental illness. Seriously, y'all. We need to let our little boys know as they get older it's okay to cry. It's okay. Allow them to feel their emotions. Allow them to feel their pain. So that way they can heal properly. And when they get older, they won't have to, you know, heal from all this trauma because they didn't dealt with it at first hand. Do you get what I'm saying? Because as I'm get as I'm in my adult years now, as I'm 27 years old, I'm realizing that. I wasn't able to vent normally. I wasn't able to heal properly. Now that I'm actually healing properly, I'm starting to see things for what it really was and what it really is, you know? And it's like, okay, it's it's not a it's not a fun process. Healing is a messy process. It's a lot of crying. It's a lot of, you know, um, asking why God me. It's a lot of those type of questions. It's a lot of anger. You know, because you didn't realize how bad it was in your childhood. But as you get in your adulthood, you're like, damn, this wasn't normal at all. I was taught that it was normal. But once I started spending time alone by myself, I started to realize some things. And when you are alone by yourself, you start to realize some things. Seriously, you do. You start to really reevaluate your upbringing, reevaluate what you were taught. And I tell anybody now, like, unlearn everything that you were taught. If it was dysfunctional, if it was narcissism, unlearn, unlearn all of that and learn something new. We are forever learning people. We will never understand everything. The Bible says that we are still ignorant to some things. We are forever learning we're still learning. Everybody's learning. It's okay. It's completely normal. So that's all I had to say for this video and that last video before I was cut off. That it's okay for my men out there to cry. You're not weak. Don't let society brainwash you into thinking that you're weak because you can't or because you you wanna you wanna cry. Don't let them brainwash you. Don't let them think. Have you thinking that, oh, I can't cry. I got to act tough all the time. No, that's just, that's draining. That's, that's, that's draining our energy. You know, you need your energy to be refreshed, rejuvenated. You know what I'm saying? You need your, your energy to be high vibrations, not low vibrational. That is draining. So cry, cry.